So I just think about that because I think you stop song. It's like a few five oh four. Because <coughs> oh oh shouldn't doesn't you write oh oh on a piece of paper? What does that mean? It's reaching out and saying, well maybe maybe it means something in relation to what how those words were that simple set of a couple chords and a message that was potentially not shared, not grabbed. Maybe it wouldn't matter if you didn't create it, if you didn't say, I'm gonna annoy the family member in the other room that's puking. You know? With that, with that version, that, that well, it's now, you know, it's not interesting. First of all, you have to walk through the door and do it. And that's what I always, hopefully, somebody asked, they, somebody said, when I met, I was, uh, became a fan at 30, um, 20 years ago. And they said, well, you, I hope you'll still be making music when I'm 80 and when we're 60. I'm like, yeah, that's one of the great things about getting to share songs. It's, it's something that, unfortunately, it's an addiction, you gotta do it. Can't get away from it. So you're stuck with us, guys. Sorry. So it's okay if it's simple. It's okay if people are puking in the room. If the ironing board stand is dropping. Uh, if it's only got three chords. You know. If it's got and three M's, and followed by a Bob. <laughs> Just be yourselves, guys. Um, make up words. But you have to walk, you have to walk through that door, and then, you know, Isaac alluding to, kind of talking about courage, in a small way, thinking about songs and why they happen and whether they, maybe they wouldn't exist. There's, 
it goes back to that same question in a small way do I have the courage to get up and annoy somebody or chase the idea or think maybe my idea is worth putting down maybe it's actually worth writing maybe it's worth sharing 